Generally, sports owners walk the tightrope between personal, political ideology and reality when it comes to looking for money to build a new or renovate an old building from elected officials. In Calgary, that dance has become more complicated now that the man that both the National Hockey League Commissioner Gary Bettman and the Flames owners wanted to see lose last week's mayor election won. Nahid Nanshi won re-election, and that has been received as the worst news possible for the ownership. Nanshi has not exactly been a friend to the Flames ownership, a group that is seeking a new arena for the National Hockey League team. Calgary elected officials and Flames ownership have been sparring over a project called Calgary Next, which would have required municipal funding for an arena, a Calgary Stampeders football facility, and other sports venues. In September, the Flames ownership group threw in the towel and decided to walk away from Calgary elected officials and said they were going back to the old arena, and that was it. Of course, in sports, no owner ever walks away from the table, stopping his or her feet, and says, I'm not going to talk to you about you spending money for my factory ever again. But Flames owner Ken King does have to return to the bargaining table with Nancy if he hopes to get any money, and he does so with a weaker hand. Calgary voters like Nancy and his policies. Bettman allegedly tried to get involved in the election by finding Flames in new arena-friendly media and handing them tidbits such as the Flames would move if Nancy was re-elected. According to Jen Kirsten of the Calgary-based National Post, Flames ownership allowed Bill Smith for mayor ads within the arena. Teams allegedly are apolitical. Owners could take political stances, but they prefer the players didn't. In Calgary, there is considerable fence mending needed. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.